Hi, this is Chad Bogan with NoviSign, and today we're going to show you how to use the weather widget to display live and local forecasts on your digital signage. So to get started, we're on NoviSign.com. In the upper right, select the login button. Here, this takes you to our online studio in which you can design, create, edit, and manage the content being displayed on your screens. To get started, I'm going to select the Create from Template button. Here it takes me to the library of templates. With NoviSign, we have the option of displaying a full screen weather forecast that would say feature three day forecast or five day forecast. And the other option would be to display a, a specific, uh, just the current weather in a specific section of the screen. I'll first show you how to do, do uh, the full screen weather. So in the template library, we do have a full five day forecast and three day forecast template available. Uh, for this example, I'll do the three day forecast. So I've selected the template and you'll notice here we have the layout, weather forecast, the current day Friday, the location, and on the right, the future forecast. So let's start with changing the weather location so that it's local. So if I select the New York widget section below Friday, on the right, it will populate the properties. Notice it says location. So if I click location, I can type my location. So let's say Chicago, check it off. Now it changes to Chicago. On top of this, we can adjust what it's being displayed in. So currently it's Celsius and Fahrenheit. So maybe I just want to display Fahrenheit. There we go, now it's in Fahrenheit. Aside from this, you can change the size of the font, the color, text style by selecting the title format. So I will reduce the size to 36. Notice small shrinks down. You can change the font color as well. So now it's white. If you have a specific color code of a font that you'd like to display, copy and paste that here. For right now, we'll leave it at 36 and okay. In addition, you can display the conditions as well. So visibility, humidity, there we go. I can change the text, color, and style of the conditions as well by simply selecting content format. Let's put that to white. There we go. Now say I would like to move this around. So I'm going to make the box smaller, over. I can click it, move it over there. So it's a drag and drop interface. On the right, same thing. So we have Saturday's weather, New York. I can change the location again. So I will simply select, type, there we go. Notice it says date for tomorrow, meaning Saturday. Sunday, same thing. So it's the weather forecast two days out, three days out. So here, using this tool, you can add the forecast predictions in uh, for later days in the week. Now let's say, for example, this backdrop you want to change. I'm going to click on the image. On the right, you notice image, that means it's selected. I'll click delete with the keyboard. Now on the left, I have my image widget. So I'm going to drag that to the screen. And let's say I want to change an image um, for the backdrop or put a color or something like this. I can click the upload button and upload whatever image file I have. So if it's a PNG, a JPEG, um, any file you'd upload from your computer. So in this um, situation, I'm just going to kind of scroll through here and find an image. There we go. And hit insert. So now you'll notice we've got the image. I'm going to resize it. There we go. Now on the top here, we've got some different options and settings. So if I select the send to back, it pushes the image back. And there we go. If I hit preview, you'll see full screen, an example of what it's looked like. Now, the other option that we have for displaying weather, 
uh, would be just using the weather and putting it in a specific section. I'll show you how that works. So I create from template. Let's say start from scratch. And we've got here the left are widgets. So if I select the weather widget, there we go. Then I'll customize the location. There we go. Change it to Fahrenheit. You're done. Very easy, simple to add. Take seconds to customize. For additional information, please visit our website, novisign.com. If you have any questions, email info at novisign.com. Thank you.